Hi. I just wanted to go over some of the choices that growers have today. If you're a grower and you're growing anything in the nursery industry, I believe this is all the choices that there are to pick from. This would be the uh, anything that is available, that has been available, or is available to me. And of course the majority of it is plastic. Been around forever. Plastic is invented, or the injection molded process of plastic, invented back in the 1940s. It's really done a good job. It's inexpensive, easy to get a hold of. Uh, so this is a regular old plastic. Other things have come along as time has gone on. Um, let's go back to technology. The technology of this item is the 1940s. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that's what was available to the professional grower at that time. Things have changed. There's new technology today. Things that do far more than just hold dirt. That's what these were originally designed to do. They had no benefits whatsoever to a plant or a plant's health, the roof structure, none of that was involved, it was basically to hold the dirt. Well, I'll take that back, except for this one. I have a lot of respect for this design. This is a air pruning pot made of plastic. Uh, but let me go over the rest of it for you. This is, was, is a, a plastic pot. It's almost like a tart material. Same with this one. A lot of people look at these, and this is hurtful, kind of, is that they call this woven plastic inferring it's some sort of a fabric bag. It's not. It's tarp. It's just something that you buy. It was a clever idea. They took something that you put over a wood pile or protect lawn furniture with and they said let's sew it into the shape of a pot. Again, absolutely does a great job holding dirt but absolutely no benefits whatsoever to a professional horticulturist that is trying to perfect a root structure. Here again, another economical idea, very clever. They took a black plastic bag, comes in every size, and if you come right down to it, this is actually like a hefty trash bag. But someone cleverly said, let's make it into a different shape, let's use it to hold dirt, put our plants in it. Again, nothing to benefit the plant regarding uh, root structure, anything like that. Like that. Tarp, and none of this is the fabric. The ones that have come along is Fabric containers, whether the, there's quite a few of them on the, on the market today, the fabric containers and these are designed with the root in mind. And again, like I said, this is a competitor of ours, but I have a lot of respect for what it can accomplish. Let me get down to, let me get down to facts here. Let me get rid of these because they really don't fit in, the, in a horticulturist mind of trying to do something that is beneficial to the plant or anything else. So let's look at these. The downside of this bag pot right here is it has absolutely no way of controlling root structure. As we all know, once the roots hit something that is smooth, whether it be any of the plastic, they're going to hit and they're going to start to circle. This is something that cannot be corrected by the plant itself. Once it hits the environment or you put it into a landscape, those roots continue to circle. So the grower is forced, if he's quality minded, to pull them out and trim them off before he sells this. This also has a lot of other uh, problems with it. If the sun hits this on one side, there's no thermal protection whatsoever, so it will actually scald the tips of the roots. It, again, it's hard to water. It's everything, water has to go directly into it. You know, whereas a fabric, the water can hit the side and it will t accept the water and still get into the pot. This one offers a lot of thermal uh, benefits. It'll keep a plant warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. These don't do that. So again, now this is something that has been around since the 1940s. What's the difference in this technology or modern technology? You know, everyone laughs at me a root pouch because the, the example I like to uh, bring up is a, a peg leg on a pirate. If you've ever seen or read, seen an old book or seen an old movie, when a pirate lost his leg in a battle or whatever, they put a peg leg on it and it held the pirate up. That would be like comparing this to this. Because this is the peg leg uh, back back in, in the pirate days, this is a modern prosthetic for an athlete nowadays. They both hold the hold the guy up, but one actually has a lot of other functions. So let's, again, understanding what this is, let's get rid of this for a minute. As far as I'm concerned, these are the only two containers to be used in the industry that actually are designed to perfect a root system. This I have a lot of respect for because it produces a perfect root. It has some downfalls. It doesn't have thermal capabilities. Uh, it has to be removed before it's shipped to those things. Now, if, if you want to know more about uh, the comparisons in these two, then we have a video that you can go to and it's comparing an air, 
pruning pot to a fabric root pouch. So that's another video. Just go to that and that'll explain that to you. If we, when we start talking about fabric bags, there are a lot of them on the market right now. But again, that's another topic. Go to a video that says comparing fabric, fabric pots to each other. Thank you.